Hi, my name is Robbie Cape. I am originally from Atlanta, but now I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, I've worked with YouthWorks for a long, long time. Um, I started back in 99. I was a site director in uh, West Hamlin, West Virginia. Um, the next summer I was site director in Savannah, Georgia. Then the following summer I was an area director in the southeast, and then the following summer I was an area director uh, in North and South Dakota. Um, then I worked for YouthWorks. Uh, I took about a year as a youth minister, and then I worked for YouthWorks full time for about seven years in uh, IT, uh, mostly. So, so when I think about uh, reasons I would work for YouthWorks, uh, friendships was a top one that comes to my mind. Um, some of the best people in the world um, that I had lucky to work with um, and, and work for. Um, Let's see what else. Um, I think YouthWorks is a great growing ground for uh, when you come out of in your college and ministry minded. You have a lot of ideals and you don't really know what works and what doesn't work. Um, YouthWorks is a great, great place to kind of try, try that and see, see what people really are like in the world and how you can really learn to minister to them. Um, I thought of three stories um, that might find interesting or entertaining. The first story uh, was when going to West Hamlin, West Virginia, my first summer. Um, got to our first Wednesday night. We were trying a new uh, country church in West Virginia. Um, there were six churches total, I believe, five or six that week from a variety of backgrounds, Catholic, Lutheran, Baptist, Methodist, and Episcopal. And it was a wonderful service, just fantastic. I loved it. Um, little small church, kind of up on a hill. And they had an altar call. And about 20 or so kids went forward. And I uh, looked around, nobody was had any issues. It was great, I was in seminary, so I had some things in my mind about, about this, but everybody was kind of fine with it. And at the very, very end, after all the crying and hugging, somebody in the church, I think the pastor yells, uh, what prevents them from being baptized? So uh, my eyes got big. I looked around. I couldn't see anything or anybody. I just kind of let things go and happen. And then, um, yeah, so they went down to a creek, um, pulled all their cars up behind the church, uh, shone the light on the creek, sang Amazing Grace over and over, and baptized, I think, like 12 of the kids. Um, it was kind of crazy. I didn't step in. The next day, went to my uh, adult leader meeting and started off with the phrase, wasn't that an amazing night last night? And I got somebody who told me that it was not, and then we had a two-hour discussion about it. So anyway, then I got a call from John Potts the next day um, and trying to uh, see what kind, what kind of things I was into as he, he didn't really know me yet. So mm, that was one. Um, another interesting one was it was 4th of July. I was in Savannah as a site director and I had to find activities for half the day because we partnered with the city of Savannah for painting and they only had uh, half days for, on July 4th. And uh, so we had gave the churches the rest of the afternoon off. Well, we thought it'd be fun to go around and take treats quote unquote to the churches but really we had water balloons and we were going to throw at them so we uh went around called the people together for a prayer and then as soon as somebody said amen with prayer we chunked water balloons from our van um and you know drove off um as they kind of armed up well we just didn't think they would call ahead to each other and tell them. So we got caught one time. Um, we, two of us jumped out to go cut through a yard. Two of us, we just came around different ways to attack this one site and uh, that was working that morning and they were ready for us. Well, long story short, they caught one of my staffers. I uh, had a van pick me up, we drove by and we wouldn't let, we had to keep the doors locked. They were tied her up to a chair and were or torturing her with like, tied her up with duct tape and we're just dumping all their water on her and <laughs> she was miserable um so we finally got her 
and they took video of it. So that night at club, we watched the video of them torturing her. Well, also one thing they did that night, well, after we went to sleep, um, they had stolen my keys uh, while I was playing um, uh, guitar and set my keys on the side. Well, they, somebody stole the keys during club, ran to hardware store, made copies, put my keys back, and then they came into the, we were in a school and we were stayed in these little trailers outside the school where they opened the door, busted in with graffiti um, and water and sorts of stuff like that. So I thought I thought the, I, I kind of thought the week went terrible until um, a couple years later some recruiters were uh, recruiting at an event and they came up and said, hey, do you know Robbie Cape? Um, they said, uh, yeah, we do. And they said, we had our best week ever in the world. It was so fantastic. And they just couldn't stop talking about the week. So, um, yeah, so anything that can happen, it, it will happen. And, uh, yeah, I would recommend uh, Youth Work Summer for sure um, if you're lucky enough to get it. All right. Robbie Cape out. Bye.